Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use a new feature available on the ReadyNAS NV Plus Duo V2 devices. The first thing you need to do is make sure you're running the latest firmware. That firmware is called Radiator 5.3.6. And again, that's available on your NV Plus and Duo V2 devices. After you've updated the firmware, you need to go to the Web Administrative Console for your ReadyNAS. You can do that using the, radi the Radar Discover utility, or if you already know the IP address, just simply enter that into the browser. Once you're in the Web Administrative Interface, you'll go to System, which is the default selection, and then you'll choose Settings. By default, Remote Access and ReadyDrop are off. So the first thing we need to do is turn those on. Let's go ahead and do that. We turned on Remote Access, and once Remote Access is turned on, then you'll be able to turn on ReadyDrop. ReadyDrop is dependent upon remote access, so you have to turn on remote access first. Once we've turned on those services, the next thing we can do is go ahead and invite a user. You invite a user by pressing the plus sign. You can go ahead and search by email. If the user is already registered, their username will show up in the search results. But I'm going to go ahead and enter a user that uh, is not registered so we can go through the whole process. So the user isn't registered, but I've created an account that we can go and receive the email from called Friday Demo. So I'm going to go ahead and send out a email invite. When the email invite goes out, you'll notice there is an email icon in the access list. This user doesn't have access until they've completed the invitation process and created a user account. And when that happens, you'll notice that the email icon turns into a user icon. Let's go ahead and look and see if our email is in. There it is. We see the invite for ReadyNAS Remote. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'll see there's a link. I'm going to press the link to complete my registration process. Go ahead and update my account. And now that I've finished the registration process, I'm taken to a download page. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm now going to need to download the Mac client that will give me access to my ReadyNAS from anywhere and allow me to access the ReadyDrop folder on the ReadyNAS. Download's completed. I'm going to go ahead and run the installer. Installation was complete. Now, if we come back over to the Web Administrative Console and refresh, you'll notice that the email invite has changed to a user list in the access control list. So now we see the user Friday demo appear. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in as that user. After I've logged in, I can now see that I have access to my ReadyNAS, and I can do various things. But the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to start the ReadyDrop feature. If you scroll down, you'll see an option in the menu called ReadyDrop. Select that, and you'll see a new icon appear. This is the icon that allows you to manage your ReadyDrop folder. If I go ahead and then open my ReadyDrop folder, you currently see that it's empty. What I can do is I can go ahead and create files and folders. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder called Jeff. Now that folder now is going to get synchronized across any other users that have access to the ReadyDrop folder on the ReadyNAS. One of the things you can also go and do is go ahead and go to the web interface 
login is the same user. And again, you'll see that folder appear. And again, any other users that have access to the ReadyDrop folder on this ReadyNAS will also see the same files and folders and they'll synchronize across the various devices. See Friday appear there. And then you see Friday appear on my Mac. It's very easy to use and set up ReadyDrop as well as ReadyNAS Remote. There's a couple other nice features that are available now in the new version of ReadyNAS Remote is you can actually go and manage your ReadyNAS remotely as well. So you can actually manage your ReadyNAS from anywhere. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration.